So today I'm going to the market. Like I said, okay, the modern gentleman and the virtuous woman, you have to be frugal. So the virtuous man has to be frugal. So today I'm going shopping, and one of the things I'll be shopping for are things like I want to shop for meat, I want to shop for veggies, I want to shop for things in the house. Those are not things I have to go to get in the supermarket. But if you're super, super rich and you don't want to stress yourself, that is fine. But if you just want to start your home, everybody doesn't get rich in one day. You let to save money. That's the important. We saw it in one of the special demand characteristics. So what I'm going to do today is that I'm going to the local market and I'm going to shop and stop in my house. Now, do you know what you do when you're going to the local market? Remember, you are an African. Africans assess you the way you're dressed. So if you're going to the local market, do you know what? You don't dress the way I am. I'm dressed. Because if you enter the local market and you do know what happens, something that is sold for 2,000 naira, they're going to tell you there's 7,000 naira. Because they look at you. In the local market, you also have to be streetwise or else they will cheat you. In the local market, something that is sold for 500 naira, they will sell to you at 2,000 naira if you're smart. So the day you're going outside to shop in the local market, you don't dress up so well. So what am I doing today? I don't have so many so much jewelries. Look at me, I'm wearing these slippers and I have to disguise. I do this all the time when I'm going shopping. Sometimes I look like a regular market woman. So that that way you don't you don't just tell me any price. So what am I doing today? Now if I was going to a departmental shop, I can dress like this because that price are already there. They already have the price, you don't begin to bargain. But if you're going to a local market, you can bargain. And that's what you're going to see me do today. So now I'm going to the local market. So today my wig is not going to go. Because with my wig and all of that, I look glamorous, I look beautiful, and once they look at me, they assess me. And I don't want that to happen. And those are one of the things you have to learn in life. A modern gentleman is frugal, a virtuous man is frugal. So today, I'm not going to the market for this week. I'm going to do this. Yeah, they're like, oh, is this what she looks like? That's exactly what I look like. <laughs> when I'm not going, when I'm going, I'm all dressed up. So, but I, I'm still going to make it look a bit stylish, so I'm not looking like all trappy and all of that. So, here, yeah. I don't have too much jewelry. No, I don't have too much makeup. So this is going to be hidden right here. I turn this around so you don't see this. And off we go. Let's go to the market. We're going to back in. Come on. Now, where we are parked, when I'm going out, especially for the gentlemen, I have one of these cars. I have my other nice car right there. But I'm not going to go out with these cars. Why? If I do, when I pack, the boys are going to tell me to pay 700 naira for a space that is 200 naira. That's what happens in Africa. They don't tell you the price of what things are, they only tell you the price based on how you look. So, and I'm going to the local market today, and I don't want to be overcharged even where I'm going to park. So I'm not going out with this car. I'm going with, this is my everyday car. This is when I want to go for runs, to run around, to do things. And so that people don't overprice me. You have to learn to be street wise. That is how you save money. When I started in the bank, I had so much money. When I, I used to go to somewhere called my 12, very far market. And I used to stock up my house. Other people used to go to departmental shops. Half of the time, before the end of the month, their salary is gone. You can't do that. You cannot do that. You have to learn to be streetwise. And the places I go to, most of those places, people don't even know that they're in Lagos. You have to find out where things are cheap. And where you're going, you have to look like you live in that neighborhood. That is the only way they will charge you at the price. So I'm going with this my everyday car. If I practice this car, can we tell them, sorry guys, I don't have money. Just take this to a naira and they'll be very happy. So let's go shopping. Let's quickly stop by at the supermarket to see how expensive things are so you can know the difference. Now here things are sold in kilos, they weigh things. The prices you see up there, that, that is not the price, they have to weigh them, they are in kilos. So they are much more expensive in the supermarket compared to when you buy stuff like this in the local market, okay? So you have to know there's a difference between what you can buy in the local market and the things you buy in the supermarket so that you can save money. You have to be frugal. These things are weighed. And by the time you get to the scale and you want to pay, it's more expensive. It's not 140 naira. That's just based on the weight. 
So by the time they wear it, they might even tell you to pay some more. Okay? Now you look around. Now things like fish, something like this, is much, much cheaper in the local market as well. Now just follow me to the tomato stand. You're going to see this twenty little tomato at 600 naira. And you're going to see how much more I can buy with that amount when I go to the local. Imagine this little thing. But this is the supermarket. I can buy three pull of this for the same price in the local market. So you have to learn to be frugal. There are some things you don't shop for in the supermarket. But if you're super rich and you really don't want to be stressed, sure, you can do this in the, in the supermarket. But if you're a beginner and you want to learn to save money, to be frugal and to know how to live life, you just have to. Now, this 400 naira, they wear it. By the time you take it to the kilo, that could be sold for like 900 naira or more, much, much more. It's kilo, look at it, it's wearing kilos. So stuff like this, you have to learn to buy them in the local market. Now look at this piece of yam, it's 1,105 naira, but you're gonna see how much I'm, I'm able to get this in the local market. A virtuous woman is frugal. A modern gentleman is frugal. You read it. It says she goes far away to get her goods. You have to learn to be frugal, especially when you want to build a home except you're super 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 rich then you don't mind and if you don't want to be stressed out but when you're beginning life you have to learn all of these things so that you can save so that you can do much more with your money because your parents are not going to be there forever it's their own money you're spending now at some point you're going to make your own money now things like this you can buy from the supermarket because you're sure they are clean and they're safe and you can't even find them in the local market so things like this um sausages and all of that fine now you can see the kilo that's where they weigh everything when you get to the local market always price things don't buy things based on the first price that you're given never i won't buy engine oil for my car how much would this one seven thousand how much would you sell i don't get time for this you will sell two thousand this is not two thousand you will sell three okay how much you sell how much how much you sell? Okay, four thousand. You sell four. You can sell four thousand. I did come out. Four thousand. You will sell two. You will sell two thousand. You see, what do you know? They come. You sell two. I don't come out. I don't come out. I want buy. 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 I hope you saw what happened there. Something that was meant to be sold for two five, he told me seven thousand. This is the street, and in the street you have to be street wise. This one now. I buy two or three hundred. What's I do? What parts? What's all? What? 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 So this one, 200 naira, bring nylon, bring nylon. 200 naira, bring nylon. Okay, 300 naira, bring nylon. <laughs> 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 How much last? Paint. I want paint. Put paint for me. Put paint how much? Come. 
something very bizarre and um, I'm just out from the market and all of that. Now you're wondering where, the, where are my stocks? Usually when you come to the local market, you have people who be asking you, Madam, can I carry your thing? Now you have to be very careful. If you're not careful, some of them will carry your things and run away. When you come to a local market like this, you ensure that people that pack things or carry things for you because they're begging you, Madam, we know you need help so that they can carry your stock for you and take to your car. Look for the older women and sometimes look for when you come to a particular market after a time get somebody that you know that you can trust because sometimes they can carry your things and run away so i have a woman i use here all the time she's an elderly woman and we become friends right now i ask her about her children sometimes i call her to buy things for me before i come into the market she's taking my things to the car so now i can walk barehanded so you don't have to carry it because in this kind of market you can't carry stuff because the whole place is noisy the whole place is messed up they are always there trying to ask you madam can i carry your thing but you have to be careful because if you're not careful they might just pretend like they want to help you carry your stuff and then they run away with your things. So you have to be street wise. So she's going to my car. The market is real. Okay? Yes.